if you've ever had the green stripes in your yard to go back and forth uh, that you see maybe a week or two after you last fertilized and you're like, oh my God, I just ruined my lawn. What did I do? Don't worry, don't panic. It's not the end of the world. All you did was overlap too much in your fertilizer application. I'm going to show you something that you can do to make your fertilizer application a little bit easier so that you can avoid putting lines in your yard. What you can do is put stripes in your lawn after, while you're mowing. Then you can use the striping pattern to help you put the fertilizer down to avoid the overlap that's causing those dark green lines in the yard. So we've got two different fertilizers that we're using today. The first one is going to be flagship uh, from Yard Mastery. We put this down about six weeks ago. It's got a 2406 analysis, but it also contains some of your micronutrients like the boron, copper, iron, manganese, something I can't pronounce, and zinc. Uh, you don't get these with the exception of maybe iron and like a Scott's fertilizer. I'm also using this Stay Green Weed and Feed. There's about a 5,000 square foot section of the lawn that's got a lot of weeds. That's the section that I haven't really maintained other than uh, occasional fertilizer over the last few years but this year I want to try to get it right so we'll put this one out back and this will go everywhere that everywhere in the yard that we actually use so let's get to work so I'm going to start here with the trim pass back in the area that's roughly about 5,000 square feet that's got a lot of weeds I go down the left side on the top of the hill go down in the middle of the trough. You can't see this here in the shot, but I actually come up another hill and then down around this natural area. And if you're new to fertilizing, then I highly recommend that you learn how to calibrate your spreader. Uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube. I'll link to one in the description that you can watch uh, if you wanna know how to do that. And then we'll just go back and forth here along the stripes. So I'm going up this row here and then I'll turn around at the end and come up the uh, light green path. And what I'm doing is just overlapping very little so that we'll avoid having those bright green lines in the yard. It's interesting though, looking at this section of the lawn because at one time it looked like this, just a mess of overgrown weeds and all kind of other stuff in there. And now it at least looks like part of a yard. All right guys. One section done of about 5,000 square feet. Now it's time to take care of flagship. I wish there was smell of vision. You could smell how good this is. Can you smell it? Oh, get a whiff. Ah, it smells like success. Now we're gonna start spreading on this other section of the yard. It's about 2,000 square feet, maybe a little less. It's the same thing. Uh, I don't do a trim pass here because for how far this spreader throws it side to side, I really only need like one path down the middle here and that'll cover uh, up to the driveway and along the property line. I do like to add a little bit extra here along the property lines for domination purposes. Uh, I do it here in the front up to the tree and then I'll go behind this uh, island of mulch and then I'll just walk a little bit slower so I don't throw it into uh, my neighbor's yard. Now it's time to get a real workout in. So we'll start here in the front and go down off the curb continuing to follow the same uh, striping paths that we created uh, when we cut the grass and much like we did in the backyard we'll go down along the curb to do the trim pass and then go right down the side of the yard that you can't see in the video when Alan says you got to put some ass into it you really got to put some ass into it clearly you can get a workout by fertilizing your lawn so we'll just continue this process back and forth making sure that we maintain the same distance apart for each pass. 
If this video was helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment below to let me know what you'd like to see next. If you have lime green patches in your yard and you're not sure what they are, check out this video here. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.